Plans for a new Democratic mayoral primary are now in the works in Bridgeport. Today, a judge overturned the original election amid concerns about the handling of absentee ballots. But the candidate who pushed the case is hopeful a second primary isn't needed. NBC Connecticut's Matt Austin joins us live now in Bridgeport with reaction. Matt. Yeah, so Keisha, tonight we are still waiting to hear from the city of Bridgeport as well as Joe Gannam's campaign, but his opponent, John Gomes, taking a moment to celebrate tonight as he remains focused on trying to win Tuesday's general election. Supporters of John Gomes celebrating his successful lawsuit as a judge orders a new Democratic primary in the race for Bridgeport mayor. We will not stand quiet. They violated our civil rights, and we, st we stood and we said we will not accept that. And we spoke clear and we spoke united, and today we are victorious. Superior Court Judge William Clark calling surveillance video shocking. He found there was proof partisans had placed absentee ballots in drop boxes and determined with so many mishandled ballots, it calls the results of the primary election in serious doubt. If it wasn't right the first time, got to do it again. Kind of want to vote to make this a better place, and now we have to wait again. Gomes lost to Mayor Joe Gannam. The judge has given everyone involved 10 days to come up with a plan for a new primary. It's highly unusual, uh, and really going to the courts tends to be the absolute last uh, tool that could be used in, in politicals and Canada's toolbox. Gomes is hopeful another primary is not needed. He's aiming to win the mayor's race in next week's general election and appears on the ballot as an independent. And I encourage every voter more than ever that today the court has said your voice does matter. And I said to you, do not give up. And the secretary of the state releasing a statement saying she is pleased with the judge's decision and her office will work with the other parties to set a new primary date. Live in Bridgeport, Matt Austin, NBC Connecticut News. Mike, back to you.